Hello everyone, welcome inside our Root Sports studio. I'm Jenny Kavnar. We hope you enjoyed watching WAC basketball here on Root Sports. New Mexico State, they improved to 14 and five with a win over Idaho. It's time for us now to get you some Mountain West action. New Mexico at San Jose State. Here's Tim Neverett and Dave Bullwinkle. Thanks, Jenny. And Jaleel Williams opened the scoring for San Jose State with a three-pointer New Mexico with two of their own. And that's what we're going to see, Dave, I think, in this ball game is a lot of threes from San Jose State and a lot of twos by New Mexico. Well, San Jose State shoots 27 threes a ball game. It's going to be very tough for New Mexico if they don't get out and challenge the three. And here is Jalen James, and he hits it three. So... The Spartans are two for two to start the game from behind the arc, and it's six to two. And we see the Spartans staying in that zone. They're trying to clog up the middle to make it tough on Kirk and Bearstow. And Kirk knocks down a long two. Six four the score. He may be seven foot, but he has the ability to step out and shoot that ball the 17 to 18 foot range. Devontae Wilson. Gives it off to Jaleel Williams. He'll try a three. Missed everything. That'll go out of bounds. Back to New Mexico. The Lobos and the Spartans. The Spartans 6-9. and nine. The Lobos 11-3. and three. New Mexico unbeaten in the conference so far. 2-0. and oh, While San Jose State has dropped their first three conference matchups. We see that air ball by Williams to three. But you know what Williams is? He's like a good defensive back. He's got no conscience. He's going to just keep coming back. And unconsciously right there, Kendall Williams... Knocks down the three. And New Mexico in front, 7-6. J. Brown, number one, hands off, and another three-point try. This one is taken out of the air by Williams. Now, has the spark shot inside the arc yet? I don't think so. We may not see them do that very often. Here's a shot by Deshaun Delaney. And Deshaun Delaney broke into the starting lineup. Few games back, Cleveland Thomas, also known as Pancake, coming off the bench now. Seems to feel pretty comfortable coming off the Lobos bench. Well, Delaney gives me great athleticism. I was at the game in Vegas when they beat Marquette, when Delaney went for a double double. He gives them great athleticism and offensive rebounding. Wilson on the miss, and here's Kendall Williams with the basketball. Bearstow charging to the rack, dunks it. A 7 0 run for the Lobos, and they now lead by three. Well, Dave Wojcik going to go to the bench here quickly. He's going to bring on the big guy, Matt Pollard. Also, he'll get Rashad Muhammad, the team's leading scorer in the ball game, at the next opportunity. Pull up, hop. That's good. Taken and made by Jaleel Williams. The 6'7 junior from Colleen, Texas. And they changed the defense on the run. Now they're back man to man. One point lead for New Mexico. Hugh Greenwood, the four generals, third game back. Had a problem with his right hand, but he's okay now. Bearstow by the step back, didn't have enough on it. We called Hugh Green the floor general. I tell you what, this is the most important stat for Greenwood. When he has started, they are 62 and 12 throughout his career. That's sort of like A.J. McCarron. He just manages the game and manages to win. Well, a pop by Bearstow, no good. And the rebound ripped down by Jalen James. The Lobos need to get on the offensive glass. It's one of the places they have a distinct advantage over the Spartans. 9-8, Lobos in front, 15 minutes to go, first half. That one off the mark, shot by Devontae Wilson. And Hugh Greenwood with the basketball again for New Mexico. First half of play, here's Greenwood spotting up from three. A little bit long and a rebound for Jaleel Williams. As much as I like Greenwood, he has not shot the three well this year in the 22% area. Doesn't need to shoot the three quick early in the shot clock. Down low, Chris Cunningham. His shot's good for two. Right over Alex Kirk. And Cunningham, his first points of the ball game. 10-9, San Jose State back in front. Here's Kirk from the right elbow. That's good. He's got the touch from 15 to 16 feet. Well, one of the reasons is his father coached him in high school. So he grew up 
being taught fundamentals well, and he carries over to his jumper. Very good shooter, learned it from his father, Allen. Good shooter for a seven-footer. San Jose State will set up another shot, perhaps from the outside. And at the next timeout, the next stoppage, there'll be some wholesale changes. Each coach waiting to get three new players in. Well, down the street, what, the Bruins and the Sharks are playing in the NHL? We got a line change in this ball game. We do, absolutely. Alex Kirk from 16 feet knocks it down. New Mexico with a one. Kendall Williams of New Mexico and Devontae Wilson, another player we're keeping an eye on tonight. Well, Devontae Wilson, the second leading scorer for the Spartans, now the leading scorer, taking the ball out of bounds here, is Rashad Muhammad. I bet he shoots a three quickly. So at least he'll try. And spinning is James. Ball off the rim, taken down by Cullen Neal, son of the head coach, Craig Neal. Williams driving, lays it off the glass, no good. A jet with a basket. Ovacha jet. With his foot one. With only his second basket of the year. So he gets some early run and is productive with a right handed jump hook off the offensive rebound. Matt Pollard guilty of the foul for San Jose State. But Actually, a little surprised to see a jet in so early. Airstone. Too long on the jumper. That's twice that Kendall Williams has hit Bearstow on the uh, roll to the basket for the short jumper, and both times he's missed badly. What did we say? Muhammad trying to three. He said he was five of six from beyond the arc against Colorado State the other night. He can shoot from afar and fill it up. Bearstow backing in. He'll spin around and will not hit it. Muhammad coming down with a rebound. Notice they didn't double Bear Stowe. Coach Wojcik for San Jose State said he had no intention on doubling because he felt it would hurt him on the offensive class. Offensive rebound off of his own miss for Isaac Thornton. Now Muhammad tries a three. He's got it. Rashad Muhammad has led the team in scoring in 10 games this year at 28 points last time out against Colorado State. Here's Neal. He'll try a long one. And the rebound to Thornton. The last time I saw the Lobos was in Las Vegas, and Neal against Marquette saved the Lobos bacon by knocking down three three, excuse me, six three pointers. Dylan James gets a screen up high, and he'll take the three. Williams with another rebound. Great job of Jalen James reusing the screen. Underneath the jet. Two-handed finish. And the Lobos up 15-13, and Dave Wojcik wants a timeout. So San Jose State calls the timeout. Obacha Jet off the bench at 7-1. Left alone down below, and he has four points in the ballgame. Nice pass from Neal. You know, we talked about Neal shooting the three, the player of the year, high school-wise in Arizona, and excuse me, in New Mexico. Very good passer as well. Excellent vision. Great. Sometimes he, he gets out of his, what, plays outside of himself and turns the ball over, but he's a great guy. Great feel and vision. Lobos fans and Rockies fans, if you can't make it to the Lobos game in person, Join Root Sports at Turtle Mountain Brewing Company in Rio Rancho, January 15th. New Mexico alum and Rockies standout Jordan Pacheco will be there signing autographs beginning at 7 p.m. There will also be free giveaways and a visit from the Rockies mascot, Dinger. Come join us next Wednesday at Turtle Mountain Brewing Company. I like the move by Coach Neal now. Coming out of the timeout, Coach Wojcik was making adjustments with his offense, so what's Coach Neal do? He comes with a full-court press. Take them out of what they wanted to do. One, two, two, three quarter court press. And a quick trap in the corner. Cunningham, guarded by a jet. Jalen James trying to set up the offense again for the Spartans. And with number 35 Pollard in for the Spartans, this is the biggest lineup with Cunningham and, and Pollard at seven foot and six nine that the Spartans can put on the floor. A jet guilty of the foul, timeout of the floor, two point lead for New Mexico. You'll be crying from laughter with Bill Burr live. Look at hair plugs. Hair plugs don't look half bad now. 
saw this guy the other night on TV. He's like, oh, God, I wish I did this 10 years ago. It's like, no, you don't. <laughs> 10 years ago, when they were stapling ant legs to the top of people's heads. Thank you. Burr, Saturday, January 18th at Legends Theater at Route 66 Casino Hotel. For tickets, visit rt66casino.com or the Route 66 Casino Hotel box office. When our little girl was born, we got a Subaru. It's where she said her first word. No. Saw her first day of school. Bye-bye. Made a best friend forever. Oh, my God. The back seat of my Subaru is where she grew up. What? The Subaru Forester. What? Motor Trend's 2014 Sport Utility of the Year. Love, it's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. It's not so much that neurologic disease isn't paid attention to, but I think there's been a perception for many years that we're very limited in what we have clinically to offer patients. And that's really changing, and I think this center's really exemplifying that, that there's all kinds of new treatments, there's all kinds of ways of helping people live better with neurologic illness, and that's what we're focused on. This off-the-glass moment is sponsored by Renewal by Anderson. 7,220 feet above sea level at the Arena Auditorium Wednesday night. A good one between New Mexico and Wyoming. Finished in overtime with the Lobos winning at 72-69. And Dave Cameron Bairstow had himself another good game. What else is new? I mean, he's had 38 in one game this year. I mean, excuse me, 29. He and Bairstow, he and Kirk combined for 38. Tell you what, this young man has really elevated his play. I think that Trey Cog is at Air Force is the most improved player in the conference, but Bearstow is in the conversation. Barnes with a basketball. It's a 15-13 New Mexico lead. Banyard is in for the Lobos, as well as Pancake Thomas and Cullen Neal. Muhammad tried the long one. Rebound comes out to San Jose State. What coaches say long shots mean long rebounds. Long rebound ended up in the hands of Isaac Thornton. Jaleel <laughs> Williams looking for some room. Steps in the lane and he's fouled. Foul will be whistled against Nick Banyer. That was number 23. Nick you know what that foul is? That's called a Bernanke. It was a bailout because that was a travel, not a foul. A Bernanke. I like it. That ball goes out of bounds. Back to San Jose State. Now, for Lobo's zone, this is a good place to trap in that corner if the ball comes in. They like to trap out of their zone on the baseline out of bounds. of the lob, almost picked off by Greenwood. And this time, Greenwood does end up with a basketball. Ahead to Neal. No look pass. Thomas on the miss. The so ball not falling for New Mexico. Pretty good group of fans wearing the cherry and silver here in San Jose State tonight. The Lobos always travel well. Large contingent of alumni are throughout the West. They show up to watch the Lobos play. Two teams will meet again February 1st right here in Root Sports at the pit. And Cunningham steps through the Lobo D and scores. Four points for Cunningham. Game tied at 15. Well, Cunningham a little bit quicker than Alex Kirk and use that quickness against him from the elbow in the dribble drive. And off to Thomas. Neal. Goes to Kirk on the block. Ball lost along the baseline. Out of bounds. Back to San Jose State. And the Spartans with an opportunity to regain the lead. Kirk normally a very good passer, especially when Bears goes in. And they pass well to each other inside. When your bigs are good interior passers, it makes your offense better. And New Mexico has that in their twin towers. James up top, this goes to Williams. So what you can see out of San Jose State is a lot of drive and kick and throwing it back. Good young freshman, Pollard. 
Coach Wojcik really would have liked to redshirt him, but due to injuries, he's got to play Pollard, and Pollard's given some minutes off the bench. Off the glass, and again, the rebound for Jalen James. Greenwood got the steal on the other end. Mohamed, bullet pass inside for Pollard, but that was deflected out of bounds by Alex Kirk. Kirk, the seven-footer out of Los Alamos. And now Pollard is out. Cunningham coming back in. Well, Alex Kirk has continued to improve each and every year. Had back surgery a couple of years ago. He missed 2011-2012 season as a result, but has come back very, very well. I saw him at the World University Games in Colorado Springs this year, and uh, he didn't play real well for the World University Games team, and sometimes he was even a DMP. But what he did subsequently was drop a little weight and work harder on becoming lean instead of just bulky. And he really runs the floor much better today than he did six months ago. A give and go between the two Aussies. Kirk got the final tip, tipped it too far. Muhammad throws up a wild shot. Greenwood gets it. Pumps it ahead to Neal. Bearstow, 16-footer. He said two of those already. That one went across the plane on top of the backboard. That's out of bounds. And the ball back to San Jose State. 8-19 to go in the first half. Even game at 15. And these teams have met six times previously. New Mexico is 6-0 and all time. The last time they met was in the 98-99 season. I think Coach Neal a little unhappy where they're staying offensively right now. So Kendall Williams back in, second leading score, looking for some offense from the outside. That's a three pointer. That's good. Jaleel Williams had one foot behind the line, one foot ahead of the line, and he dropped his foot back, made it even, and knocked down the three. Remember I said that's because he realized that three is worth more than two. Eight points for Williams. It's 18-15. Go where your bread is buttered. Get that ball inside. Uh, doubled up Kirk and knocked it out of bounds. But Jaleel Williams has for the holidays. Then the team had 12 days off after that. So had a pretty lengthy break to recover. And here he is with no effects. Ball's right off the edge of our table. Nice job by by Matt, on stat Matt. Part-time st statistician, part-time uh, protector of you and I. Uh, I spoke with Coach Neal and the coaching staff earlier today. And, uh, Lobo's a little sluggish right now getting started. And one of the things that's going to happen, we're used to playing in the pit, you got that crowd to get to rolling. And here we have, let's say, putting a nicely an intimate gathering, okay, of friends and family. And you don't have that big crowd, you got to get yourself going. That's part of your responsibility. That's the reason you get room books, board, and tuition. Speaking of family, the coach's son just hit the two-pointer to bring the Lobos within one. And as you mentioned, they have a sluggish start for New Mexico, and they did have a sluggish start in a game against their in-state rival, New Mexico State, at the pit after winning in Las Cruces in the first half of that series this year. Then at home. Without Greenwood, a lot of folks felt that without Greenwood in the lineup, that uh, the team would get off to a sluggish start, or perhaps that was the reason why. But nonetheless, they ended up falling in that game. Well, 11 and 3, that's a bad loss at home to the to Aggies. Losing to UMass on a neutral floor and losing at Kansas, those are not bad losses. But the one in the pit hurts, and it hurts in the RPI. The Lobos, as a result, now just receiving votes in one poll, not in both. Well, I'll tell you what, Tim. I've seen most of the good teams in America play in person, and they get votes in my poll. There's a handoff to James. He is cut off in the middle in a held ball situation, a possession arrow favoring New Mexico. Now, what I say is that gets you half a possession. The tie-up, now granted, now that if we started the second half or another tie-up, the ball will go to, to the uh, the Spartans. 
but that defensive effort by Greenwood gets you half a possession. Half a possession, that's worth about a half a point because the Lobos get 1.19 points per possession. There's still inside double. Fights through it and scores. Well, Cameron Bairstow with six points. And it's a one-point New Mexico lead. Tight ball game in the early going. 5.47 left first half. Well, part of the reason for the tight game, Tim, is that the Lobos haven't got to the free throw line. In fact, there's yet to be a free throw shot in this ball game. The Lobos get 29% of their points from the free throw line. They make a living there and haven't found their way there yet tonight. Pollard bumping with Kirk. And he took the extra step and travel sixth turnover for san jose state in contrast new mexico with only one well up and up fake and a little walking there to the feet big young freshman going to be a good player got good hands soft hands three point try by kirk Rebound to the guard, D.J. Brown, the junior from Los Angeles. Now that makes Kirk 837 from beyond the arc so far this season. I think he needs to fight more for low post position. He falls into that long jump shot too quickly. He can always get that shot. Now this is the first time a player will go to the free throw line. A foul on Cullen Neal. And Muhammad will have three shots. the first one he's got it tonight's free throw donation is brought to you by legacy church something more and four points now for Rashad Muhammad out of one of the powerhouses in the West Bishop Gorman High School in Las Vegas Ironically coached by Graham Rice, Rice coach David Rice's brother. You know, the Spartans do something interesting in the free throw situation. They put everybody back, conceding the defensive rebound. I think that makes the shooter feel naked. And notice, look at the funny stance on Muhammad. Look at his staggered stance. This guy's starting to run the 100 meters instead of shoot the basketball. And yet he's a good free throw shooter at 82-2. 20 to 19 Spartans. Williams to Greenwood. Muhammad comes to play him. If you're in a zone of this nature, you need to know who to guard and who not to guard. Greenwood is a guy you can sag off of a little bit because, as we said, he's only shooting 22% from beyond the arc coming into tonight. E.J. Brown, left-handed shot. Trying to use the screen he was presented for him. New Mexico in possession, trying to get the lead back. Bearstick, through a double team, scores. He's fouled, and he'll go to the line for a possible three-point play. Cameron Bearstick with eight points. His first 15 foul. And it's the first time New Mexico has gone to the free throw line. Remember I said earlier that the two bigs, Bearstow and Kirk, pass well to each other, and that was an assist from Kirk if he hit his big partner to dive into the basket. You mentioned coaching brothers a moment ago. Coach, and uh, battled for it. That's going to go back to New Mexico. Dave Wojcik's brother, Doug, is... Head coach at College of Charleston. Who said that uh, his dad Fred's home in Wheeling, West Virginia tonight. Along with others watching this game. Said he already had a pregame meal prepared for this ball game. And watching us tonight on Root Sports. As I'm sure he does with the College of Charleston games when he can. It made it a little easier for him before when Doug was the coach at Tulsa and Dave was the assistant there. But that changed around. And Bearstow in the double figures with 10. So Cameron Bearstow has his 30th career double figure scoring game, his 14th this season. Bearstow's gotten stronger in the offseason. I think the added strength has helped make him more reactive. John Muhammad blocked by Greenwood. 
Here's Bearstow down the middle. He's held up. And a foul on D.J. Brown. 23-20. Lobos in front. Oh. Mountain West basketball on Root Sports is brought to you by Subaru. Love. All right, thank you very much, Jenny. Looking forward to the halftime report coming up with Jenny. With a Bo Winkle, Tim Neverett here. Close game as we get closer to the half. Cameron Bear still at the line. Trying to extend New Mexico's lead. Bear still currently with 10 points. Now with 11. It's never too early to buy your tickets to the 2014 Reese's Mountain West Basketball Championship. Visit the MW.com slash 2014 for ticket and team hotel information. Another three-point try. Taken by Devante Wilson. In New Mexico with another possession. I guess you live by the three, you die by the three in this offense, Dave. Well, I'll tell you what, they, they twice this year knocked down 14 threes in a game. One time they had 15. They are not going to stop shooting three. And by the way, that's not Dave Wojcik's modus operandi necessarily, but when he inherited this program this year as a new head coach, he didn't have good, strong inside players. He did some study of how Iowa State played last year, he decided we're just going to let it fly. Sean Delaney with the rebound for New Mexico. There's still. Push his way inside, kicks it out to Greenwood. Delaney, the entry pass. Kirk doubled. The hook shot's good. Well, Alex Kirk just threw that one up there, and it went in. And he's going to head to the line for a possible three-point play. Well, I'm a big on the Dylan Alexander. I'm a big believer in feeding water and those big guys inside. Go to where your bread's buttered. This team is very good inside. They get from those two big fellas all right inside they get 30 some points a ball game okay i would pass that ball in them good things happen when the ball touches the ball the block of the dot bear still got ahead kendall williams gets his own rebound last year's conference player of the year Rebound for San Jose State's Jalen James. He was the Mountain West Co Player of the Week in early December. And he scores right there. And who did he share that honor with that week? How about New Mexico's Cameron Bearstow? Here they are on the court together for the first time in Mountain West Park. Nice job by number 15 Cunningham that time on the drive to the basket. Sort of screening the defender. Looked like one of the Seahawks. Blocking for beast mode today on that 31-yard touchdown run late in the ballgame. Offensive foul, a charge on Kendall Williams. That's a third turnover for New Mexico. You watch the screen come out. See, 15 sets the screen. Looks like an offensive tackle. Giving Marshawn Lynch that seam to the basket. Jalen James. Pretty versatile player. He had a triple double at Houston. 12 points, 13 rebounds, 10 assists. Well, speaking of at Houston, that was a great win for the Spartans going in there and knocking off the Houston Cougars who this week beat UConn. Right? Great turnover for the Spartans. Four point lead for New Mexico. Greenwood tries a three. Well, Spartans will run the ball up the court again. Just about a minute to go in the first half. Chance for a two for one if they want to go that direction. Screen by Cunningham, but Williams stayed with him. Cunningham launches a three. And rebound quickly by Thornton. Gets it to Muhammad. He spots up. Now it's Kirk. The rebound for the Lobos. That's when you think about the Lobo team, they need to get rebounds because you're going to have so many three point opportunities taken by San Jose State. And nice looking scoop shot there by Deshaun Delaney. And the Lobos have some fouls to use right now. They only have 14 fouls. So they should look to take a couple here 
late in the shot clock. Make him a driver, and anytime he drives, commit the foul. So there's a common foul and ball out of bounds on the sideline. That's a three, and Jaleel Williams has 11 points. That's poor understanding of score and clock situation. A three point lead at the half for the New Mexico. Spartans have the ball to start the second half. Bernstow and Williams, the leading scorers in the game so far, with 11 each. Well, two guards, Muhammad and Williams, who expected to score a lot between them, averaging 35 a night, have combined up for just eight. But one half stuff, not a game mate. Second 20 minutes, look for them to score a lot. Cunningham kicks it out. Three point try. Good for Devante Wilson. And it's a tie game at 28. Wilson heard the disparaging remarks I had to say to him about his numbers missing in action and a half and start out the second half by bringing that three and they're six of eight, six of 19 from beyond the arc now. Devontae Wilson has one in the game. He's had a game this year against UC Davis where he knocked down six of those. Well, they've had multiple players responsible for multiple three-point shots in a number of games this year. Big part of the Spartans offense. Yeah, they are equal opportunity when it comes to shooting the tray. And the last attempt was their 19th attempt at a three-pointer. And Cunningham reverses his field and scores around Kirk. That was a nifty move by the big man. Well, one thing that you do, you get a guy like Kirk going in one direction, it's like a big freight train. It's hard to change directions and go back the other way. You can do that up and under, uses momentum against him. Williams uses Bearstow's screen and hits the three. Six points for Kendall Williams on that ball screen. You can't go under the ball screen if you're guarding Kendall Williams because he'll step behind it and pop like he did then. You got to get over the top of that screen. And you got to think Williams will be a double figure scorer. He's scored in double figures in every game this season, 14 straight. DJ Brown hands off to Jalen James. And Cunningham, Kirk on him. Up to the left hand, Delaney the rebound. And Williams on the run. This is where Williams is very, very dangerous. In the open floor with a head of steam, he's very fast. Greenwood lobs for Kirk. These Spartans were near him defensively. Delaney, top of the arc. He's got three. So New Mexico, the last two times down the floor, drains threes. Five points for Deshaun Delaney. For Double D, that's only his fourth three of the year. Mate, what he does best is get on the glass and create mayhem running like this. There's a lot for Delaney. Tips. And San Jose State regains possession of the basketball. Another three try from Jaleel Williams. He's got it. 14 points for Jaleel Williams, and he's got two from behind the arc. See, what happened that play, Williams made it, Kendall Williams made an ill-advised effort for a steal out front instead of getting back defensively, and that opened up the three-point opportunity for the other Williams. Another one by Delaney. Three straight possessions, three straight three-point field goals for the Lobos. 37-33. When teams start shooting a three like this, you've got to, the phrase is, run them off the line. You have to close out so hard that you make them drivers, don't allow them to be shooters. Spin the lane, Cunningham kicks it out. Pass deflected, but hung on to by D.J. Brown. And this long three off the back iron, Kurt skying for the rebound. And New Mexico with a basketball and a four-point lead. And one of the things Alex Kirk does a great job of when he gets that defensive rebound is he gets out of his hands in a hurry with the outlet pass to start the fast break. In that case, it was to Williams. Battle for the loose ball. Bearstow tackling Chris Cunningham. That'll be ruled a hell ball. And the arrow going back to New Mexico. But Deshaun Delaney getting into the offense for New Mexico. 
Punch your ticket to see the best college basketball teams in the West battle it out in the 2014 Reese's Mountain West Men's and Women's Basketball Championships, March 10th through 15th at the Thomas and Mack Center in Las Vegas. This year's tournament is bigger and better than ever before, with all 22 teams in action. Sellout crowds are expected, so punch your ticket today at your team's athletic ticket office or get more information at the MW.com. Don't miss a Mountain West party Vegas style. It tells the complete story at 1,500 frames per second. Here's the 3 2 once again. It's a whole new ball game. He's gone. Boy, is he locked in. See it here, like nowhere else. Root Sports. BYU takes on Santa Clara January 18th at 8 on Root Sports. Back at San Jose State, 37-33, New Mexico in front. Rashad Muhammad, you see him here. He's not the only basketball playing Muhammad. Tonight's entertaining fact is brought to you by the Route 66 Casino Hotel. Get your kicks. See Shabazz Muhammad out of UCLA. And the, the dad of both Rashad and Shabazz, Ron Holmes, who... I don't know you recruited at one time. They played at El Toro High School in Orange County, an 18th leading scorer in USC history. Ronald Holmes, a great player. Hey, and let's make sure we pay some tribute to the other side of the family. Mom was a basketball player and a great track athlete at Long Beach State. And the sister, Asia, she's a pro tennis player. You know what I believe in? I believe in DNA. My kids had no chance. <laughs> Well, those kids seem to be getting a good chance. And here comes Muhammad back into the ball game for San Jose State. Now, some people in the audience might wonder, how come he averages 17 a game and doesn't start? Beginning of the year, Coach Wojcik wanted a, what, a, a, a John Havlicek off the bench, a shot of adrenaline off the bench. And they started him one game later on due to injury, and he played horrible in the first half. They said, from now on, you come off the bench. That was a game against Weber State. It was his only start of the year. He likes to shoot the three as well. He's had six twice in a game this year. Utah State and UC Davis. Speaking of three-point shooters, there's Neal. Well, Neal, he'll pull it up. Fair stuff. Just on that shot. When you talk about the threes. New Mexico's three for three this half from three. San Jose State two for three. And as uh, you say, Dave, three is more than two. Yes, you can see what happens here with San Jose State shooting 27 threes a game, third in the country. Their made threes at 10.1 is fourth in the country. Their percentage is okay, but what they really do is they get a big, I'm saying their shooting percentage, but they get a big scoring percentage from beyond the arc. And lost for Bearstow. Cunningham playing it. Build it. Reaching in was Muhammad, but Cunningham will get called for the foul. Building upon what we were saying there, as I said earlier, 42.9% of the scoring for San Jose State comes from beyond the arc. Only 21% for the Lobos, who are the worst three-point shooting team in the Mountain West at 31-8. Williams off to Colin Neal. Look inside to the big fellas. Kirk, hook shot, good. 
good things happen when the ball touches the post. When I was at St. Mary's, I had a 7-3 monster grab Millard, and I had a rule. The ball had to touch him every other da time down the floor. If it didn't, I found a new teammate. It was one of those line changes we talked about. And I had an assistant on the bench. That was his job, the chart post touches. Oh, that basket good, Isaac Thornton. Colin Neal commits the foul. Number 11, number 23, Nick Patner's return to the Lobos lineup. Isaac Thornton, freshman from Sam Houston High School in San Antonio, Texas. Shows that he's learning his lessons well. Again, look at this funny free throw set. I don't like this because what happens is the free throw shooter feels like he has no friends. Put somebody up there in a white jersey. Tell the guy not to step in the lane line, just to sprint back. But I want somebody up there so number 20, Isaac Thornton, feels comfortable. It, it is odd to see a team just concede a rebound. Even late in the games when teams do that sometimes, I think you put a guy up there just so you I had a little coach tell me this one time. Because he said, why are you doing this, Dave? Put somebody on the line so he feels comfortable. But doggone it, I think it's right. And Kate Thomas gets fouled as he goes to the basket. And that foul will be whistled on Devontae Wilson, his second. So when you play in the Little League basketball, those of the audience, you never make a blind save on your own basket as Muhammad did just there. And it's going to cost him three points. And Thomas hits the first one. Thomas a starter, but now comes off the bench. J.J. plays hoop at Cal State Northridge. Two for two for Thomas. The Lobo is now with a 41-36 advantage. Across court it goes to Wilson. And Muhammad on the miss. Had a good chance at a follow. Cunningham had it stripped in his pocket picked by Williams. So Williams a solid defensive play. And you couldn't get that one to go. They're going to try to bank it. You don't bank it from the baseline. You need to be at a 45 degree angle. And the rebound by Banyard. 22 to play. Mexico trying to build a lead. It's been slow to happen. And Colin uh, Neal fouled on the way up. He'll go to the line to shoot. Just the second time now, New Mexico will have gone to the line this half. Number two, Jaleel Williams. Jaleel Williams. First foul for him for San Jose State. 13, Neal. Neal, a very good free throw shooter for a freshman at 74%. You would expect as much playing for his father, who was a great free throw shooter in Georgia Tech. The Lobos fans and Rockies fans, if you can't make it to the Lobos game in person, join Root Sports at Turtle Mountain Brewing Company in Rio Rancho January 15th. New Mexico alum and Rockies standout Jordan Pacheco will be there signing autographs beginning at 7 p.m. Free giveaways from the Rockies mascot, Dinger. He'll be visiting. Make sure to come join us next Wednesday at Turtle Mountain Brewing Company. 41-36. Seven minutes of the second half gone by. And Bolger setting up his offense the way he wants it right now. And he's got to be happy right now. His team's right in this ball game, even though they, as I said, the open was a, a prohibitive underdog. John Muhammad, one second left. He got the shot off, and it's good. Just got it off in time to beat the timer. You know, if you're Craig Neal, these are one of these games that are really tough to him. You know you should win, and you don't play well. That That's hard to coach in those games. Seven points now for Muhammad. Jeff back to Kendall Williams. Colin Neal spots up for three. And the rebound ripped down by Isaac Thornton. He runs the floor. Jump stop into the lane. Whoa, what a basket by Thornton. Up and under, Isaac Thornton. Four points for the Spartans guard. New Mexico wants a timeout. It's a one-point lead now. 30 seconds, timeout is charged to New Mexico State. It is taken as a full timeout. Isaac Thornton understands that. 
And 6'3 freshman on Sam Houston High School in San Antonio. He has started seven of the first 15 games for San Jose State. Came off the bench here tonight. So let's see if Coach Wojcik changes things up defensively now coming out of the timeout. No, it looks like they're still man to man. Greenwood dribbling right enters for Kirk. Kicks it out for Thomas and Thornton got a hand in there. And the Spartans have possession. Chance to take the lead. Two on one. Mohammed bounce pass. That one redirected but off the glass and good. Seven points now for Jalen James and San Jose State takes the lead. Spartans are looking for their first conference win in the Mountain West. Kendall Williams tries the shot. He is fouled by Thornton, his first. Well, San Jose State uses the two-on-one. Basket good by James, and it's a one-point lead for the Spartans. When our little girl was born, we got a Subaru. It's where she said her first word. No. Saw her first day of school. Bye bye. Made a best friend forever. Oh my God. The back seat of my Subaru is where she grew up. What? The Subaru Forester. What? Motor Trends 2014 Sport Utility of the Year. Love. It's what makes a Subaru a Subaru. You only have a few moments in your life which are critical and the decision about which hospital to come to is one of those moments. Here at the Heart Hospital of New Mexico, it's not just about the doctors. It's about the whole team that's involved in taking care of patients. We take care of the heart and its problems. That's all we do. It makes a huge difference when you have an entire hospital dedicated to heart care. And we do. Working from Camry today, Jan. You'll love the Camry. It's comfortable and spacious. It's got all the latest tech. Great. Really fun to drive, too. Need something? I need to show this Camry. Can you hold? Right now, you can get great leases, low APRs, or amazing cashback offers on the Toyota Camry. It all starts at Toyota. Let's go places. Back in San Jose, a little walk through downtown, 42-41. Hasn't exactly been a, a stroll through town for either team in this game tonight. The road ahead brought to you by the New Mexico Department of Transportation. It's time to end at DWI. Visit NDWI.com and get the free NDWI app today. UNLV Wednesday and at Fresno State to Boise State. Then they'll head to Fort Collins and then over to Logan uh, to wrap up the month. It's the road ahead for the Lobos. Three. They're still in the open. The Lobos could afford to look past the Spartans to the running Rebels. Maybe that's the reason they're only tied here with 11.34 to go. In the Wolves. It's the second of his three free throws. He's got eight points now. Second player in Mountain West history with 1,500 points, 500 assists, and 150 steals. Jimmer Fredette, who was absolutely terrific for the BYU Cougars, the only other player in the history of the conference to put up numbers like that. Well, he's on pace to be the only Lobo ever in the top 10 New Mexico points and assists. Jimmer Fredette. Just another player like Kendall Williams that was very fun to watch. Top of the arc. That's good for three. Jaleel Williams, another. And it's a two-point lead for New Mexico. Williams with 17 points. His career high is closing in on it. 22. He had that against Pepperdine. One of the things Williams has done, Williams is guarded by either Beresko or Kirk, who are not used to guarding beyond the arc. And so Williams has taken them outside and made them pay. Greenwood trying to rebound, but that ball goes out of bounds and back to San Jose State. 
One of the reasons San Jose State has been able to stay right in here and get the lead is they've taken better care of the ball in the second half. They had eight turnovers at halftime. They only have one more so far, one turnover so far in the second half. What I say is, well, then they almost turn it over for us. Every time you turn it over, you shot zero on that possession. You've got to maximize your possessions. They've done a better job this half. Going back for James. As we mentioned James had a triple double against Houston this year. The only freshman in the NCAA with a triple double this season. And Alex Kirk says, get that one out of here. He put up a big no trespassing sign. This is my office, stay out. Now they get, the Lobos get, five and a half block shots a game between Bearstow and Kirk. Mohammed hits the three. Ten points for Rashad Muhammad. Always a dangerous shooter on a baseline out of bounds play is the inbounds passer, and they forgot to account for him. Five point lead for the Spartans. Bearstow to the basket. And the ball will not cooperate. It's out, but a foul. And that foul will be on Jaleel Williams, his second. And the 15 foul. You see Greenwood fell asleep going to double the ball. Didn't account for Muhammad. He made him pay by draining the tray. Still with 12 points. Well, we talked about it earlier. The team that shoots threes against a team that doesn't necessarily defend the three all that well in New Mexico. And something's got to give. And here are the, the Spartans, 0-3 in conference play, struggling. But tonight, not only in it, but with a four-point lead as we are past the halfway mark of the second half. And New Mexico shooting 74% on the year from the free throw line, not capitalizing on their chances in a charity strike. Another steal by Williams. Williams to the basket. He's fouled. So Kendall Williams will go to the line now. Jalen James picks up his second personal foul. Now that's 16 fouls. No more to give in the game for San Jose State. Next one will put New Mexico in the bonus. And New Mexico has just a lone foul in this half so far, so they can be aggressive defensively. One of the things that I would like to see and probably will happen, is, although he missed the free throw, is Kendall Williams, last year's player of the year in the Mountain West, and obviously a star player. Big players come up at big points in ball games. It's winning time. It's time for Kendall Williams to step up and take charge. Second shot good. Three-point lead. Nine points for Williams. And New Mexico does shoot their free throws well, but got to hit them on the road. Sean Muhammad pulls up. The long Greenwood battled for the rebound, but ended up in the hands of Kendall Williams. Greenwood for three. Got it. That's a big shot and a big time for New Mexico, and that ties the game at 48. First points of the game for Hugh Greenwood. All right, timeout. San Jose State had a five-point lead. Now that is gone as we're all even at 48 with 8.50 to go. How does Greenwood get so open here? Uh, Greenwood gets so open because number 12 sags too much inside to clog up the driving lane and forgets that Greenwood's out there. Maybe some of it's the fact that Greenwood hasn't shot well. That's part of game plan this time he made you pay. It's never too early to buy your tickets to the 2014 Reese's Mountain West Basketball Championships. Visit themw.com slash 2014 for ticket and team hotel information. It's a terrific event. If you've never been, got to go. Only reason I can think of to go to Las Vegas. That's not true. I think there are lots of reasons. A lot of reasons. But my favorite is basketball. You know what I like just then what Dave Wojcik did? He instructed his guard to drive the baseline before he called the timeout so that he could run a baseline out of bounds play. Smart coaching. Dave Wojcik, first year as a head coach here at San Jose State. And I asked him at walkthrough, 
What's the difference between being the head coach and the assistant besides moving over 18 inches? I'm no longer a suggestion maker. I'm the guy that's got to make the decision. Chris Cunningham for two. He's got eight. One of the ways you can tell good coaching is you score out of timeouts. A-T-O after timeouts. Do you score? They did. Kirk inside. That one is stuffed by Cunningham. You get the Cunningham score at one end on the dish from Muhammad. Well, maybe that assist should have gone to Kirk on the block shot. So into the ball game comes Matt Pollard. He takes over for Jaleel Williams. Five of his six baskets have been three pointers. He gets a bit of a rest right now. Cullen Neal for the basketball for New Mexico. Neal drives, kicks. Trying to go after the rebound, but Madison Thornton beat him to it. And a scramble for the loose ball. A timeout is called by San Jose State. On the bottom of the pile, Jalen James. 30 second timeout. Dave Wojcik. A story in the early part of the conference season. Well, and other fans out there, when you talk about the personnel of Nevada, Deontay Burton is one of the premier guards, not just in the conference, but in the country. A two-point lead for San Jose State. They'll trigger the inbound. Thornton had it stolen. Terrific play by Deshaun Delaney. And he goes and gets it right back. Skip pass. Neal fakes the three. Takes a screen from Bearstow. Can't make that shot. And the Spartans come away with it. A very nice play by Neal on a pump fake to get his defender off his feet and then drive underneath him. The ball just wouldn't go in. And Mohammed missed the shot, and a foul is called underneath as Greenwood was reaching for the rebound. Foul will be on Chris Cunningham, who's a state. And he's got that one. Spartans with 17 fouls. And New Mexico with only one team foul this half. And I venture a guess that Coach Wojcik has reminded Vern Harris and the rest of the crew of the disparity in the foul count. Burns off to James as the Spartans set up the offense. Colin Neal defending, top of the key. Cunningham off the side iron. Chases down his own rebound. Muhammad, going on a rip. Give it to Cunningham. Now Muhammad. Lines up a three. He's fouled, and the ball gets stuck. Muhammad's going to get three shots. Fouled on the three-point try. The basketball's been retrieved, so he can do just that. General rule of thumb in coaching with your players, you don't want to foul the shooter. For goodness sake, you don't want to foul a jump shooter. Now he gets to go where nobody can guard him. Foul called on Alex Kirk. It's his first. Rashad Muhammad. If you look at the, the feet here of Muhammad, normally you want to have your shooting foot, if you're right-handed, pointed towards the basket, and your other foot in a toe-to-instep relationship, almost parallel. But like I said, he looks like he's the same bolt when he runs 100 meters. But I'm not going to argue with him because he's shooting 82% at the line. If I was coaching, there's a way I'd prefer it. But if the guy's shooting 82, I leave him alone. You do it your way. Well, if a guy makes it, you can just say that's good coaching, right? Very nice arc on his shot. Maybe even a little too much arc, but he shoots a soft ball. 15 points for Rashad Muhammad. Good for three to Sean Delaney, 11 points. And for Delaney, a new career high. It was 10. He had that against Marquette on the 21st of December. But 11 points now for Deshaun Delaney. Well, off the top of my head, if I'm not mistaken, that is his third three. He only had three all season that he made from beyond the arc. He's got three tonight. So the one point game. Kirk will be 
whistled for the foul again. Devontae Wilson was driving to the basket. Second foul on Kurt. Well, Wilson hit the deck. It looked to me like he got the ball, but probably with the body. Ooh, that's a questionable call there. 22, Devontae Wilson. Two shots. Devontae Wilson from the Stogie, Oklahoma. Lee College. Levels for junior. You know where Lee College is? Baytown, Texas is a suburb of Houston. You've been there? I have. If you coach in college, guess what? You go a lot of places. You've been everywhere. And I've even been in Muskogee, Oklahoma, where there's a junior college. He didn't go to his hometown, JC. Lobos. Fell by one. Greenwood. On the miss, trying to three. And another foul is going to be whistled against Alex Kirk. That's three quick ones here. Late in the second half. 14 fouls, so they're still not into the bonus yet. Coming down the middle of the lane, fighting for position. Can't see it there, but he shoved Cunningham from behind, trying to get position. Muhammad with Greenwood on it. Six minutes to go in the game. Inside, and Cunningham had it knocked away by Delaney. Deflections lead to interceptions and turnovers. Great job with active hands by the Silver and Sharon. And Greenwood hits the three. And New Mexico back in front. Six points for Greenwood. He has two three-pointers. It's 55-53. Greenwood, a big bucket for New Mexico. And answering right back is Jaleel Williams. What did I say earlier? Jaleel Williams causes a matchup problem because he has to be guarded by Bearstow or Kirk. They're not used to guarding there. Bearstow wasn't close enough to him. He drained the three. He was six for seven in three-point attempts. Williams with 20 points. And it's Bearstow to the basket. And this lead is seesawing back and forth. 15 points for Bearstow. Under five minutes to play. And that's the trade-off. Bearstow has a hard time guarding Williams outside. Williams has a hard time defending Bearstow in the paint. Jalen James pumps it over to Williams. Williams is the right side of the court alone with Bearstow. Trying to fire it along the baseline. Knocked out of bounds by Greenwood. So tough. San Jose State will keep possession. Tough place to get inbounds from in the corner there. I'd put a lot of pressure on the ball. What I say is don't let him window shop like you're walking down the street. Right. Don't, let, don't let him pick out his target. The active hands. Lindsay's got to be up there. I should be Delaney up there with very active hands. So 11 seconds on the shot clock. Once they get it in play, it'll be a quick shot. And it's good. Jaleel Williams having himself a career night. He has just equaled his career high of 22. I'm going to the well often with Jaleel Williams. He's going to see it every time now. He looks like he's tired. I'm going to ride that horse till it dies. Greenwood tries a three and missed that time. Delaney had to kick off his knee out of bounds. Ball back to the Spartans. And you know, we're talking about Jaleel Williams knocking down the threes and the twos. Well, guess what then? He made a hustle play there that forced the ball to be knocked out of bounds by the Lobo. Let's give him credit for doing more than just knocking down jumpers. Should have a good finish now. Just over four to play. James high off the glass. Doesn't get the friendly roll. And the Williams, the lob. And Delaney fouled on the way up. Great job running the fast break, going over the top with the retreating defender. Jalen James committing the foul of free throws when we come back to the event center in San Jose. When our little girl was born, we got a Subaru. It's where she's... Stuff you come up with. Who fed that to you? If you care, prepare, Dave. Two shots. One point game. Here is Deshaun Delaney at the line. Oh, missed the front. 
chance to tie it here. But he's made three threes tonight, right? He has. Demonstrating that 15 feet is too close for him. <laughs> he ties it up. 58-58. 36 minutes of play just to get to where we started from. We would hope we would see this tonight. These two teams will go at it again February 1st at the pit in Albuquerque. You'll see that game on Root Sports as well. Shot just a little bit short that time by Williams. Williams probably losing his legs a little bit, getting tired. You know, regardless of what happens down the stretch here, this game is demonstrating what Dave Wojcik has done in terms of rekindling the spirit of the Spartan program. Bear still fumbled that ball back to San Jose State. Jaleel Williams driving, lays it up and in. A new career high for Jaleel Williams with 24 points. What a night for him, and it's a two-point Spartan lead. Anybody's ball game now the home stretch. Kirk kicks it back out to Delaney. Kendall Williams. He's got a three. Remember what I said. Big players make big plays at big junctures in the game. Kendall Williams. One point lead now for the Lobos. The 17th time in the game, the lead has changed. And all those early, remember the Lobos still have an advantage in team fouls with just four. So they got they can give a couple without it hurting them. Shot clock down to two. Muhammad fires it up. Didn't catch rim, so that's a shot clock violation. And New Mexico will have the ball. The 13th turnover for the Spartans. Certainly Dave Wojcik would like to see his team cut down on the number of turnovers. Well, they have a negative assist to turnover ratio, meaning they've turned the ball over more often than they've made assists, which is one of the few places, one of the few teams, excuse me, in the Mountain West that does that. Kendall Williams fires up a wild shot, but fouled on the way to the basket. I think what happened there, he made a wise decision. On the dribble drive, he heard the whistle blow, so he shot the ball up to make sure he was going to shoot two free throws rather than the one-and-one. One. Well, Thornton commits the foul for San Jose State, his second. Ninth team foul. Next one will put New Mexico on the double bonus, and they'll shoot two the rest of the way no matter what. Remember how I said earlier that with the way San Jose State sets their free throws up, I'd want at least one guy up on the lane line? Here, I'd be the opposite. I'd want one of the bigs back. Because right now, with both Bearstow and Kirk up front, they've got to lumber up and down the floor. So Williams for New Mexico, now with 14 points. He has moved into 10th. How this one finishes up. Three-point shooting big for New Mexico in the second half. Only 8 of 20. For San Jose State, 10 of 28. Angelil Williams has six of those 10 three-pointers made. Spartans running their offense. James, hook pass to the far side. It is Rashad Muhammad back for Williams. Better job by Bearstow out challenging him now. Shot clock down to seven. Long three is good. Oh, what a shot by Rashad Muhammad. Ties the game at 63. 16 points for Muhammad. I know that was late in the shot clock. He was forced to shoot it, but Coach Wojak had told me, Wojak had told me that he doesn't care how deep it is. They'll fire him from way out, and they certainly did then. Coming up on one minute to play in regulation. 63-63, Kendall Williams drives, fires it up, and what a roll he got. He had just enough on that one for it to fall. And he's got himself 16 points. Martin Cota, the official here on our left, coming to talk to Vern Harris. Maybe what happened was the clocks kept running when once you hit one minute, the clock stops automatically. Craig Neal is waving his team over, trying to use this stoppage to have a word with them. Quick free timeout. Coaches are 
prone to do that. Remember we talked earlier about Dave Wojcik saying that moving the 18 inches over from being assistant to head coach, biggest thing is making decisions. Let's see what we have the time here. Watch the clock. Basket is in. It's 59.4. They should have four more seconds on the game clock. It just means that the, the clock operator was a tad late. Or didn't understand the rules, which is, I doubt that's what it was. I think he understood the rules. And we'll see what Vern Harris has told him to put back on the clock. Vern Harris, very good official, did the Final Four a couple years ago. First time doing it, well deserved. Blows a good whistle. And that's a coach saying that. Or an ex coach, I should say. Yeah, coaches uh, throw those compliments around like manhole covers. No question. We're talking about referees. I don't own a striped shirt. <laughs> All right, inside of a minute to go. Two point, New Mexico lead. Jalen James with the ball for the Spartans. And I'm going to get the ball into Williams' hands on a pick and a pop. Right there it is. Up to the pass goes to Thornton. Now Cunningham. Greenwood defended him. He fouled him. He got him on the wrist. But it's a good foul because that's only their 15th foul. The ball goes out of bounds on the baseline. Smart play by Greenwood. And we have a timeout now by Dave Wojcik, the San Jose State coach. So he's got one remaining. You see the timeout bar underneath where it says timeout. New Mexico with two left and a two-point lead. 39 and a half seconds to go. The possession arrow is favoring San Jose State. So, if you're Dave Wojcik now, down by two, what are you thinking here? Well, one of the things you decide is, do I want to just play for the win? Okay? Because with 35 seconds left in the shot clock, you can almost take it down to the end of the game and just go for the three to win the game and get the huge upset. I wouldn't do that. I'd play basketball. But that is one of the options in front of Coach Rojas. Now, one of the things that also happens, Chris Brazelton is the assistant at San Jose State who was in charge of the preparation for playing the Lobos. He is in, in the ear of Dave Wojcik with suggestions because he knows that team as well as anybody. On the other bench, Craig Snow, the young man from Australia who's the assistant coach for the Lobos, he's the one in charge of the preparation, and he's doing the same thing with Coach Neal. I give some love to the assistant coaches. I was nine years a head coach, but I was 16 years as an assistant coach in college, and I know how those guys, hard those men work, not just in recruiting, but in game preparation. Look for a, an effort to score on the baseline out of bounds play. If not, first good shot. You can't, you can't run the risk of running it down to where you can make a free throw shooting contest out of this because the Lobos are at 74% a good free throw shooting team. A four and a half second differential game clock to shot clock here. 39 and a half left, 35 full. Shot clock to work with for the Spartans who will trigger the inbound out of the hands of freshman Isaac Thornton on the baseline. Now Williams tried the quick shot. That was blocked. Bear still got a piece of it. Got a foul immediately now. And there's a foul from Muhammad. And that'll be the 10th team foul. So two shots for New Mexico. Now, you might have wanted to wait until the ball got to one of the poor free throw shooters, for example, Delaney. But I don't think you could run that risk. I think Muhammad did the right thing. you got to try to extend this game and make it a foul shooting contest. Two shots. Kendall Williams missed a free throw earlier, which is unusual for him because he's an 80% free throw shooter. But I was watching him in the warm-ups early on today. He missed a number of free throws, and he may not be in a great rhythm. Well, Kendall Williams, his 81st career double-figure scoring game tonight. 17 points. Missed the second one. And comes up with a rebound, and a held ball is called. San Jose State will have the possession. A one-possession game. Shot clock is dead. 28 and 6 tenths left. So San Jose State loves to shoot the three. Can shoot for a tie here. 
All right, is it a foul or is it a jump ball? I'll tell you what, I want to call that a jump ball too with alternating possessions. I don't think it's not like Thornton reached around him, Thornton just reached in strong. Well, good play by the freshman Thornton, it looked like. Certainly, uh, Craig Neal, the logo is not too happy. <laughs> They're having their huddle out at midcourt, they usually do it right in front of the bench. Uh, so let's talk about finishing games right now. The Lobos are plus three on the scoreboard. They got to make clutch free throws, which Williams just didn't there because he could have made it a two possession game. They got to be strong with the ball, which Williams wasn't because he got tied up. No foolish fouls, but remember, they've got a foul to give. And lastly, know the score and clock situation. Part of the clock situation is now the alternate, you know, uh, possession arrow is going to go to the Lobos. So if you're getting tied up, double up on the ball, you're going to keep the ball. If I'm, right now, if I'm the Spartans, I've got to attack immediately. I can't run the risk of attacking late because the Lobos have a foul to give. And Jaleel Williams will put it in play to Jalen James. And New Mexico will pick him up at half court. Now, you don't, you've got a foul to give, but you don't want to use it too soon. You also may want to make the decision here, I'm going to foul him out. Yeah. See, that's too soon. It is 40 feet from the basket. Now it is into the one and one, and you only force them to take six seconds off the shot clock. 16 foul. 15. Chris Cunningham is back in inside. He'll line up against Alex Kirk. Devante Wilson waiting to put the ball in play. And now the timeout is called. It'll be San Jose State's final timeout. New Mexico with one remaining. The possession arrow favors New Mexico as we look at things right now. But what is uh, the discussion about here? Why the timeout where Dave Wojcik called it? Well, I think that he's got a young team. If you had a more veteran team, you might want to save that timeout to use later on in case for an emergency. My theory on timeouts is you can't take them to the grave with you, but if I have a heart attack, I want one. Right now, he's got no, he has a heart attack. He's, you know, in deep doo-doo. Right now, though, he's talking to his team about what they're going to do in the sideline out of bounds play. Look for the ball to go back to the inbounds passer. Remember, they got a, a basket in the first half when the ball went, excuse me, in the second half when the ball went back to the inbounds passer was Muhammad. Look for the inbounds pass and then for the ball to go back to that passer. Interesting for the Lobos, up three, do you foul? To make, take away the three to tie it and put it with the line. Let's see if that happens here. Williams will launch a three. And that one off the mark. Williams the rebound. And three Spartans converge on him. And one of them will be called for the foul. And the foul will be called on Jalen James. His fourth. So now a chance for Kendall Williams. To make this one a little tougher for San Jose State. Put your free throws in these situations, you can put a game away. A little too early for that. And now he's made it a two possession game, a four point lead, 18 points for Kendall Williams. Getting to the free throw line to win. Look at that 28% of their points come from the free throw line. And you know what? These are important points right now. He's like Mariano Rivera, he's the closer at the line. 19 points is above his season average. 68-63. Don't need a quick three. You can get a two. And there's a rebound by Kirk. He'll be fouled. And this should put it away for New Mexico. The five-point advantage. If Kirk can hit one of both of these, that should be all she wrote tonight. Now, Tim, the reason I said they didn't need that three by Muhammad, they were down by five. You're going to need a, a three and a two anyway, so drive it to the basket because they've been instructed not to foul you. It can then extend the game. Again, San Jose State. Seeing what they normally see when it's the other way around. They would give up the rebound, but New Mexico not wanting to foul, staying out of the lanes here. 69-63. Now a six-point lead for the final eight seconds. And James to the basket. Kirk stayed away from him. To head to the line. That's going to do it. New Mexico goes to 3-0 and 
Mountain 